So welcome to another tutorial and we're here in the Forgotten Colonies engine room. To the right in the middle of the screen you'll see a little display with team score, Corsairs, zero, Director, zero, Morian, zero and Zealot, zero and that's called the scoreboard. To be more specifically it's a scoreboard on the sidebar. So today we're actually going to talk about the scoreboard and when you type slash scoreboard you'll see two options. You have objectives, which will track all the objectives and you'll see players which will hold the scores of the players in the objectives available so let's first go to objectives and you have five options add this will add a new objective for example after you type add you don't get any help but they expect you to actually type a title so for example we say mine call and then you have an insane list of options basically what you want to think about is when you start typing minecraft you'll have a plethora of options you have broken and broken basically applies to everything you can break. You have much more options. You can go for the crafted, which is basically after you craft it, it will track that score. You can see dropped, you can see killed and mined. And let's go for mined for us then. And you kind of have to follow whatever you see here in the list because else it will just show nothing anymore. But once you're done, and you have a Minecraft dot, you can actually start filtering based on the letters you type. So what we want, of course, is we want call or. We have now created an objective called mine call, and it will track all the ore that is being mined. If we go back to scoreboard objectives, so we can also modify. And if we go to our mine call, you can see you can change two more things. You can change the display name, and let's change it to call or mined. And you can actually use the JSON here as well. So that's really interesting. For example, you can do text call or mind, and then you can also give it other options, like for example, the color. We want the call or actually to be gold and press enter. Now, if we would go to scoreboard objectives, of course, we can modify. We just did that and we can remove and we can also set display. So let's go to set display and we want to change the team score to the right to actually our main call. It will totally disappear and that's simply because there's no one who has any form of call or mind so let's grab a stack of call or and let's play some blocks and then let's go into game mode survival because else it won't work of course and let's mine one and instantly you'll see call or mind reaper idol is one now my name is in gold because i'm actually in a gold team so let's do team leave let's do team leave and then my name actually and then you see my name is white now because I'm not on a team. We have another tutorial for teams. Now, once I start mining the call, you see I'll get one point for each call or mine. And that means I now have 12 points. You can also change the render type, but the render type is not really used. Hearts would only work for health-based scores, but even then you just simply use the integer. And if you do list, you'll see all the objectives currently tracked. And as you can see, since this is such a massive server with a mini game, you'll have already 168 objectives we're tracking. So then we have the players and with players, you can do a lot more and players will use the objectives themselves to actually store points in them. For example, if we do list, you'll see all the tracked entities we currently have. These are all the entities that's currently holding any score in the server. So let's put this to a little test. Let's make a new objective and let's call it my health. And we're going to actually just simply track my health. We create a new objective called my health. And then we're going to put it to the sidebar. Or maybe much more fun is actually to put it to the list. And we look for my health. There we go. Now, if I press tab now, despite me having 14 health or 7 hearts, I still don't see it. Let's go out into the world. Let's see if we can find something that can hurt us a little bit. A zombie. Perfect. Mr. Zombie. Now, now you see actually for the first time that we can actually use a render type and you'll see it's shown in the list so this is the only time you can actually use the render type if you put it in the list so it doesn't even work in the sidebar as you can see it just shows 14 and here it just shows that i have 14 hearts and in the list it only shows that i have seven hearts so there is a way to use this render type but that's the only way so with objectives modify my health render type integer you'll see it now shows as an integer so since we're tracking my health maybe it's kind of interesting let's see if we can manipulate my health in a way that we can actually use it let's go back to the engine first things first we're going to make a new scoreboard objective and we call it my critical this will store the moment that the health is below critical you can't call it something like my critical health or something that's too long you can only use 16 numbers but the display name can be as long as you want and we make it of course a dummy because we just want to store the number in there now let's quickly put it in the command block scoreboard players set 
for me personally, my critical to four, to three, four, okay, to four. And let's make that an impulse that needs redstone. Sure, put a little button. What we're basically gonna do is we're gonna make sure that when my health drops below four, I want to get a little buff. Like for example, remember World of Warcraft, if you have a rogue, if it's below a certain amount, then you get a heavy immunity. So let's try to set that up a little bit with the command blocks. Of course, we have this one here. Let's put it like this because I want the arrow to be up. And we're gonna use now something called scoreboard players and we could quickly get over it we just had the set it actually doesn't show here but it's actually the bottom one so the one below reset we have add that means basically we would be able to add a number to an objective but we are currently only looking for operation because we want to do something let's see if we can set something up like that so let's do execute if and of course since we're using the scoreboard we're going to do score the funny part is you can actually do it with entity as well but it's just extra text so that we won't do it like that so we're going to just do score reaper arrow and then we look for my health is lower or equal so you have is lower is lower or equal is equal is higher or his higher and equal and you can also use matches now the matches is very important because matches would be able to use a direct integer or a number an integer is basically just a number however we want to check if it falls below because if i get two hearts of damage then it could just skip that direct matching integer and just ignore it and then it won't work so we just take equal or lower then my critical and now basically we're saying execute this command block only if the score of my health is lower or equal than my critical so it's one two three or four now let's put a command block on top of it and let's make that a chain that's always active you see this one still needs redstone if i put it on always active it starts instantly checking so it just says now test failed because my health is 14 as you can see in both the list and the sidebar and my critical is still four of course we can put the display sidebar now actually to my critical and as you can see it is four because we set it for her now what do we want to do if this happens let's say we want to give us a direct effect effect give reaper arrow and let's give us instant health eight we need an amplifier hide particles now let's then put one on top of it and let's also make that a chain and let's always put it active and let's say so let's give that an action bar title and you can already see it in the bottom selector p that is the nearest person executing used emergency potion with gold text so this is basically just a json you probably know how that works by now and we'll print it to the action bar of course you'll see it right away that's because all these chain blocks need to be unconditional that only works if i'm actually taking damage that was why i already was being healed and let's see how this works let's go to the field let's go to the green camp and let's fly up a bit see if we can find a test zombie Ooh, skeleton sure let's do the skeleton hello taking damage i have seven health now are you even trying do i need to <gasps> reaper arrow used an emergency potion so that works perfectly i'm healed up instantly so basically unless they do four hearts of damage i'm quite immortal right now now, of course you can put this on a global timer or something and that would work absolutely perfectly in another episode how to make a clock we kind of made a clock already so we pretty much know exactly how it's done however we're going to make a new clock for this specific one scoreboard objectives add my cooldown and it's going to be a dummy and we also make a objective called my counter also a dummy first things first we're going to check execute if score reaper arrow my cooldown matches one and we're going to put a chain on top of that scoreboard players add reaper arrow my counter one what this means is we're going to add one point to my counter every tick because it's on a blue command block that will repeat itself every tick of course it's still on redstone right now so it won't work it's going to say test failed because there is no such thing as my cooldown yet assigned to reaper arrow whatsoever because we're going to make this conditional so we're going to add one to my counter so let's get this going let's quickly add another reset and let's simply put in there scoreboard players set reaper arrow my cooldown is one now you see my counter will start counting so let's do scoreboard objective set display to the sidebar my counter and then we pretty much know it already has a score but if i press this it will start executing this one because my cooldown matches one and it starts adding one to my counter unlimited 
So we're going to put this one here with arrow up and I'm going to put one on top of it and we're going to make that a chain always xf conditional and we're going to call that reset cooldown and we're going to basically do scoreboard players set repair arrow my cooldown to zero so that will basically reset the cooldown for me so that's going to be great see it will stop it but we also added a chain because we're actually going to reset my counter as well scoreboard players set reaper arrow my counter to zero so if i do it now you'll see my counter will be zero if i start it here it will start counting and i can stop it here and it will be zero so basically we have some resets ready now of course it's critical limit we only had to set that only once it's going to be just fine basically we, we already have some kind of clock going on and we're going to use that later actually to make sure that we'll have a cooldown on which we can use our heal what we're basically going to do is going to add another one and we're going to say execute if score from Reaper Hero. My counter is 500. Well, I actually have to do matches 500, of course. Put it on conditional. And then we're going to add another chain. And all we do is do scoreboard players set Reaper Hero. My cooldown is zero. And we don't add actually my counter zero because we don't want it to. So basically, if we start it now, it just goes up and up and up until it comes to 500 then it will stop and then it will put my cooldown on zero that means my cooldown is done let's wait for it see my counter is now 500 it stops counting because i know hey it's done now for this one i have several options first things first of course we have to move everything up one copy paste and the bottom one is actually going to be execute if. And now I can pretty much choose which one I want. I can either say my counter matches 500. Because then we know it's on cooldown. Or I can say my cooldown matches zero. And we're going to actually do this one. Test passed. It's on zero. So it would potentially work now. Put this on conditional. Make it a chain of course. Always active. And then if the score is critical. We're going to execute this one. Now on top of this one. I'm going to put a chain. And I'm going to put in there basically this one. I'm going to put my cooldown on 1 because I'm going to say it's on cooldown now. Unfortunately, my counter will still be on 500. So we have to reset that one as well. So basically we take this one as well and we're going to put them on top of that. And we're going to put both of them on conditional. I kind of reset right now because it was on unconditional at first. So let's just wait for the other 500 again. So basically we set up the following thing. If my cooldown matches 0, which it doesn't do right now of course and my health is below my critical we're going to give you instant health and use the emergency potion then we're going to set my cooldown on one so this one start going again but we also reset my count to zero so this one can add up to 500 and once it's 500 it's going to say my cooldown is zero again let's go to the green team ah there's a zombie waiting for me game mode survival let's hope we live no don't hurt me <laughs> And we used an emergency and my counter started running again. <laughs> I'm in trouble if he kills me now. I'm in trouble if he kills me now. Oh my. Oh my god. Oh yeah. And as long as the counter is still running, I can't use my emergency potion. So now we actually made a cooldown system. And we really have to watch out for this zombie right now. <laughs> Until my emergency potion kicks back in. And there we go. Yes, emergency code. There we go. So we made a perfect automated system that actually uses a cooldown system right now it's a bit more advanced than i wanted for the scoreboard tutorial but hey the harder it is the more you learn so now we basically use the scoreboard to track my health and then made a clock that will give me an instant heal if my emergency potion is on cooldown and it works absolutely perfectly so yes this tutorial was a bit more advanced than i was planning initially but I hope you learned a lot from it and now you know a lot more about command blocks and you can actually give people a skill that will track their health. Now we actually use the same system, a global timer, which actually will give a flag buff. And if people are near their spawns, so we actually use execution positions, as you can see, give effect, A distance, three team yellow. And we actually have a little bit more extended thing. We use the bit different. So if you're near your flag and the cooldown is run out, you'll actually get a buff near your flag and that will help you protect both against spawn killing and give you an edge in protecting your flag when they try to steal it. So that works absolutely perfectly. And we'll basically use this exact system as well, but then global over all the players. So we use 
either a team selector, we use a distance or we use an execute position. I hope you learned something from this and I hope you can apply it. And thank you all for watching.